Greg, an LRI from the 1st in Texas District. And I'm Kate, an LRI from the Pacific Northwest District. This video covers the inspection elements that are needed to be checked with the robot powered on. To do this, each team will tether to their driver station and then power on their robot. First up, inspectors will check to ensure the correct software is installed on your robot by using the version tab of the driver station software. If the robot has pneumatics, inspectors will then check to ensure they are set up correctly. Teams will need to close the vent plug and then enable their robot. The inspector will ensure that the compressor automatically turns off at 120 PSI per R807. They will then check that the working pressure is correct per R809. Finally, they'll override the pressure switch to turn on the compressor and ensure that the pressure release valve begins relieving at 125 PSI per R811. The inspector will next check to ensure the robot has a robot signal light, an RSL, and it's easily visible. They'll also ensure that it's wired correctly to flash in sync with the RSL LED on the RoboRio. Next, the inspector will look at the driver station software to ensure the team number shows correctly and to ask to verify that each team has programmed their radio at this event. Finally, the inspector will do a power off test by having a team turn off their robot and checking that all LEDs are powered off. If the robot has pneumatics, the inspector will have the team actuate the vent plug to ensure that all air has left the system. Thanks for watching this video on the power on check. Be sure to watch the other videos to learn how the rest of the inspection process works. Good luck and we'll see you at the inspections.